Even you, also you, the one who suffers, the one who does not have no advice, the one who is so lost and so confused, you have a solution. What is your solution? Not to give up, not to back off, not to stop fighting for what you believe that needs correction, that you recognize that is wrong. The darkness can look so bad, the pain can be so hurtful, the sorrow, the tears, the... the the despair is, 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 can, can be so heavy. It can be dangerous to the servant of God, to the real person of truth, to deal with such great amounts of pain. And therefore, we must remind ourselves that we just need to make another step. And most complicated journey begins with one step. And you need to make it. The step into yourself, to step into your true personality, to find your true self. You're suffering mainly, we, all of us, we suffer mainly because we don't know how to be our true selves. We suffer from not being who we are. Inside of us, honored to have a godly soul, a portion from above. And that godly soul made out of truth, truth and love blend together. Take two spoons of truth and one spoon of love, mix them, and that's it. And you have the potion of, of, of life. So you cannot not be yourself and be happy because the core of, of your being, the essence of, of your existence, is to be loving and to be truthful. And, and when someone takes that from you, even if it's your own fears and your own pressure, you lose yourself. You're like, who am I? What's going on? Where, where was I? What was I like? And, and you suffer. And that's it. And you're gone. The one that you are, the one, the good one that you are, must find a way to express itself. And if it won't, you suffer. So the advice is not to give up on being who you are. And how will you know who is the real you? Because you have many voices, like you want to go and you don't want to go. You feel that you need and you feel that it might destroy you. Like you, you have so many oppositions inside of you that you don't know what to do, right? So the one that you need to attach yourself to, a way of thinking that is positive, is to that one that is hoping for good. The positive thoughts are the thoughts that are coming from the side of your soul. The negative thoughts, all kinds of fears, pressures, angers, that's not you. The negative thoughts are the impure thoughts that are coming from the side of the evil inclination. Those are the obstacles. So if you feel a certain fear and you feel that that fear is healthy, hey, it's warning me. It was a car and drove too fast. Okay, that's not fear that we're talking about. That's not terror. Those are not anxieties. This is a certain sense of being careful that wakes up inside of you that you need to follow. But every positive voice of your soul that is trying to build you and to protect you, you should listen. It's the voice of your soul. And to any negative voice of anger, rage, um, um, pressure, hatred, uh, anxieties, like we said, you should not listen and you should not follow. On that, Rabbi Nachman said, "En yehush ba'olam klal." There is no despair in the world at all. Why at all? Because when your mind, with your free choice, are aimed to do the best you can, you will always climb. You will always rise. You will always push forward. You will always progress. But when you give up, that's it. It's a different story. Now, if you found yourself lost and you already gave up. It's time to renew your forces and not to give up anymore and to start over and to restart your engines and to make another small step. And from one to the next, you will grow and stabilize yourself and be happy. Yeah,